This is the Climber's Guide to Gabbro and Gabbro is an intrusive igneous rock. So if it's intrusive it means that it crystallised a while, it was still underground. So it cooled slowly because the ground was insulating it. That means you have a very large grain size. The main minerals in Gabbro are pyroxenes, two pyroxenes, a plagioclase feldspar and there can be either quartz or olivine but not both only one or the other these are individual grains here that large thing so you can see that it's got cleavage in it it's very dark in color that's a pyroxene these lighter grains which are close to it similar size these are feldspars and actually you can see some feldspars included in this pyroxene grain and often there are iron oxides as well and gabbro is dark because it's very rich in iron compared to say a granite which is very rich in silica but gabbro is poor in silica and rich in iron. But the main thing about gabbro is it's got very large grain sizes. In fact, here at Ardna Merkin, the grain size can get up to tens of centimetres, grains like this. Occasionally, uh, when the sun is catching the slab, you see these regions coming and reflecting all in one, one, one plane. And that's effectively an atomic plane or a set of atomic planes of one crystal which are parallel and the size of the reflecting region, that's the size of the crystal. But it's often not a single plane, it looks as though it's got lots of, it's pockmarked, got lots of holes in it. That's because actually the crystals are intergrown with each other. And so you've got one big crystal, but it's got other bits of other big crystals growing in across it as well. Okay. And the thing about those large crystals and the fact that they're intergrown like that is that it makes this wonderfully grippy rock. In fact, the fine grained version of Gabbro is basalt. So we're here in February, it's been raining overnight and a lot of the gabbro is damp, but the friction is still brilliant. Okay, and that's because you've got these big interlocking and intergrown crystals to make this rough structure. Where do we find gabbro? Well, the most common places in the UK are up on the west coast of Scotland and the uh, Hebridean Islands. So the cooling of sky, rum, we're in Ardna Merkin on the mainland. These are the main places. It's really, really nice cragging and it's really good frictional rock. And of course, that means that you have to be very careful to reduce rope drag. So short pitches and very careful management of your rope as well on Gabbro. But it's great climbing. Go to oneminutegeology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days out.